Hi and welcome to my channel. My name is Silvana and in today's video we will do a gentle yoga practice for stress and anxiety relief. This calming session will help you to unwind and to release any tension within your body. So whenever you are ready, find a quiet place, roll out your mat and let's get started. Let's start today's class seated on your mat. Find a comfortable seat, keeping the spine long. Maybe roll your shoulders a little bit back. And then just close your eyes. Take a moment to arrive. Breathing deeply in through the nose. And exhale slowly out. Inhale. And as you exhale, visualize all negative energy releasing out of your body, melting down into the floor. And just make a conscious decision to dedicate this time now to yourself and your well-being. One more breath here. And then inhale, reach your arms up over the head, palms together, exhale, hands in front of your heart. Again, inhale, reaching the arms up over the head, lengthen, exhale, hands in front of the heart. One more time, inhale, exhale, palms in front of the heart. On your next inhale, reach your arms up again, this time interlock the fingers and turn the palms up towards the ceiling, making yourself very long, create length through the spine, but keeping the head relaxed. Release your arms again, place the fingertips behind your back, let the head drop back, lean back from your upper back, opening up the chest. One more inhale. And then exhale, hinge forward, fold forward from the hips and reach the arms out over the head, coming into a seated forward fold, keeping the head relaxed, bringing the forehead closer down towards the floor. One more breath here, reach far with your fingertips. And then slowly walk the hands over towards the left side, placing the left hand onto the mat next to you. Reach the right arm up over the head and come into a side bend. So you lift the head, gaze up towards the ceiling. Inhale. Exhale, fold forward again. Walk your hands to center and then walk the hands over to the right side. Lift the left arm up. Gaze up to the ceiling, coming into a nice side bend. Breathing into the left side body. Inhale. And then exhale, fold forward again. Walking back to center. One more breath here. And then walk the hands towards you. Lift the upper body up. Inhale, arms up over the head. Exhale, release the arms by your side. Let's extend the legs out in front of us now, giving them a little shake. And from here, come towards the front of your mat. Keeping the knees bent, reach your arms forward, inhale. And as you exhale, roll yourself to lying on your back. One vertebra at a time, release slowly down, head relax. Hug both knees into your chest. Maybe rocking a little bit from side to side, massaging the spine. Relaxing the shoulders, relaxing the lower back. And then extend your left leg all the way out onto the mat and just pull your right knee towards the chest. Rotate your right ankle if that feels nice. First one direction and then the other direction. Coming to a stop again, 
extend the right leg up towards the ceiling and interlock your fingers either behind the hamstring or the calf muscle and flex your right foot. If the hamstring is tight, keep the knee a little bit bent. Stay with the breath. Deep inhale, create a bit more length. Exhale, stretch the leg a little bit more. Release again, bend the right knee and let's find a spinal twist. Right arm comes shoulder width away from your body. Inhale, exhale, let the right knee fall over to the left side and stack your hips on top of each other. Gaze over your right shoulder. Keeping the left hand on the right knee for a little bit of extra grounding. And rest your right foot either on the left leg or on the floor in front of your left knee. Close your eyes and take a few deep breaths here. Let your shoulder plates melt down into the floor. Relax your face and find stillness. Inhale and exhale out. Slowly release again, gaze up to the ceiling, pull the knee back towards the chest. One more breath here, open the hips and then extend your right leg all the way out to the mat and we change legs, bring the left knee to the chest, pulling it a little bit closer towards your left armpit and rotate your left ankle first to one side and then to the other side. Coming to a stop again and extend the left leg up towards the ceiling, interlocking the fingers behind the hamstring or calf muscle and flex the left foot. Try to press the shoulder plates down into the mat. If your hamstrings are tight, keep your left knee a little bit bent. Breathing into the stretch, create length as you inhale. Pull a little bit further into the stretch as you exhale. One more breath here. And then slowly release again. Bend the left knee, bringing the right hand onto the left knee and take your left arm shoulder width away from the body. Inhale, exhale, spinal twist. The left knee falls to your right side, gaze over the left shoulder. Let your left shoulder plate come a bit further down into the mat. Close your eyes and just breathe here into this pose. Let yourself be heavy. Inhale and exhale out. Stay here for a few more deep breaths. One more breath here. And then slowly release. Gaze up. Pull the knee back towards the chest, opening up the hips. And then extend the leg all the way out onto the mat. Center yourself. Bend both knees and we find happy baby pose. Lift both feet off of the mat. Let the knees and feet fall outwards. Arms between the legs. And with your middle and index finger, get hold of your big toes. Pull the knees to the armpits and let your feet fall out wide. Feel a nice release in your lower back and feel the hips opening up. Maybe rocking a bit from side to side here as well, massaging the spine. And release again. Good. Bring the feet and knees together. Take your hands behind your knees. And then just rock and roll yourself up into boat pose. Try to keep the feet lifted as you're rocking up. Inhale, rocking back again. Exhale, swinging yourself back up. 
keep on going here at your own pace. Nice massage for your back. Keeping the head slightly forward, chin to chest. Let's do two more like this. And then slowly come to a stop. Keep the feet lifted. Maybe bring the shin bones parallel towards the ceiling. Try to reach your arms forward. Core engaged. Spine long. Keep the knees close towards the chest. Inhale and exhale. Release. Well done. Both feet down. Let your knees fall outwards. Creating a diamond shape with your legs. Soles of your feet together. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, hinge forward from the hips and just fold over the legs and relax your head down, reaching the arms out in front of you. Don't worry too much about the stretch here, just relaxing the spine, relaxing the head. Let the knees fall outwards. Breathing deeply into the belly. One more breath. And then release, rolling the spine back up and bring your knees together. Keeping the knees in about a 90 degree ankle bend and then take your left hand over your knees. Inhale, exhale, rotate to your right side and bring your right hand behind the back. Pressing the palm or fingertips into the mat and gaze over your right shoulder. Making sure the spine is nice and long. Imagine this invisible line lifting you from the top of the head up towards the ceiling. You can close your eyes here. Keep on pressing the knees together and feel the rotation in your lower back. Taking one more breath here. And release. Gaze to the front and twist. Take your right hand over the knees now and twist to your left side. Left hand or fingertips behind your back. Inhale, spine long. Exhale, find a nice deep twist. Close your eyes and just breathe. Taking one more breath here and then release, gaze to the front and twist your upper body and extend both legs out in front of you. Bend your right knee, let the right knee fall outward so the sole of your right foot comes to your inner thigh. Make sure the hips are still facing forward. Inhale, arms up over the head, lengthen. And then exhale, coming into a forward fold. Let your upper body fold over the left leg. Getting hold of your left foot, ankle or the shin bone. Relaxing the head and gently pull yourself a little bit forward. Making sure not to put any tension on your lower back. If you feel the lower back, keep your left knee slightly bent and keep on hinging forward from your hips. Inhale, feel the crown of your head reaching forward for the toes. Exhale, bring the torso a little bit further over the leg. Slowly release again, lengthen the spine and then taking the left leg out to the side of the mat the right heel close to the hips and the hips are still facing forward. Inhale, arms up over the head. Exhale, twist towards your left leg and fold over your left leg. This time with your right hand, try to get hold of the outer arch of the left foot or the outer shin bone and reach your left arm back behind you and gaze over your left shoulder. Gently pull yourself a little bit further forward with your right hand, breathing into your right side body. Keep on reaching back with your left hand. Upper body folds forward. Try to bring your right shoulder a little bit further down. Inhale, release again. Untwist. 
and an exhale left hand comes to your right knee right hand behind the back twist your upper body inhale find star gaze up point the left toes press your right palm into the mat lift the hips up let your head drop back left arm by your ear and gaze up to the ceiling keep on pushing the hips forward opening the chest inhale and exhale release everything back down extend both legs out in front of you and center yourself on to the other side bend the left knee let your left knee fall outwards hips are still facing forward arms up inhale and exhale forward fold getting hold of your right foot ankle or shin bone head relaxed fold forward from the hips gently pull yourself a little bit further forward if that feels okay for you breathing deeply into the stretch with every exit try to sink a little bit further forward keep the right knee a bit bent in case you feel your lower back slowly release again lengthen the spine and then take your right leg out to the side now left heel follows hips are still facing forward arms up inhale exhale rotate towards your right leg fold over your right leg bringing the left hand now to the outer arch of your right foot or the outer shin bone reach your right hand back and gaze over your right shoulder breathing into your left side body inhale create a little bit more length through the left side body exhale hinge a little bit further forward towards your right leg stay here for a few more deep breaths using the breath to ease into the stretch one more breath here and release back to center let's twist to left side now left hand behind the back right hand on your left knee pressing through the left palm point your right toes and then lift your hips up for stargazer bringing the right arm by your ear let your head drop back open up the chest squeeze the buttocks pushing the hips up high one more inhale open the chest and exhale release everything down well done extend the legs out in front of you and center yourself now bend both knees again in a 90 degree angle knees and feet together with your left hand reach for the outer arch of your right foot and extend your right leg out reach back with your right arm and twist gaze over your right shoulder keep on kicking the leg out knees together the hips are still facing forward reach back with your right hand keeping the arms in line with your shoulders two more breaths here and one more breath twist well done release coming back to center again both feet on the mat on to the other side getting hold of your left foot with your right hand reach back with your left arm and gaze over your left shoulder pressing the knees together rotating the chest from your lower back arms in line with the shoulders keep on reaching you can of course keep your left knee a little bit bent if you need to one more breath here and release again and twist both feet on the mat let your knees fall outwards bringing the soles of your feet together and this time bring the heels close towards the hips getting hold of your toes with your hands create a nice long spine feel the hips opening up inhale here exhale let the knees sink a little bit further down feel the stretch in your inner thighs 
either stay here or maybe hold on to your ankles, bring the elbows towards your inner thighs to press the knees a bit further down or let the forearms fall over your shin bones, hinge forward, shift the weight a little bit further forward, deepening the stretch in the hip. Important to keep on breathing deeply in and out, release any tension. And then slowly release, lengthen the spine. Bring the knees together, place both feet on the mat, feet hip width apart, reversed table pose. Hands behind your back, fingers point towards you. Inhale, exhale, lift the hips, squeeze the buttocks, push the hips up towards the ceiling, letting the head drop back, open up the chest, creating that table shape with your body. One more inhale and then exhale, release the hips all the way back down again onto your mat. Well done. Arms up, inhale, flex both feet and exhale, seated forward fold, fold over the legs, relaxing the head down, hinging forward from the hips, getting hold of your feet, ankles or shin bones. If the hamstrings are tight, keep the knees slightly bent. Two more breaths here, create length in your spine. And one more breath, fold a little bit further forward. Slowly release, roll the spine back up. Inhale, arms up over the head, lengthen. And exhale, release the arms back by your side. Let's take the legs behind us now, coming into a tabletop position on our hands and knees. Bringing the hands underneath your shoulders and your knees hip-width apart. Let's start here with cat and cow. So we inhale, drop the belly, gaze up to the ceiling, draw the shoulders back. Exhale, tuck the tailbone, belly in, chin to chest, round through the spine. Inhale again as you drop the belly, open the chest, gaze up. Exhale, tuck the tailbone under, feel the stretch in your upper back. Keep on going at your own pace, moving with your breath. Connecting the movement with the breath here. Feel the space created between each vertebra as you exhale. And then slowly coming to a stop again, breathing normally. Let's walk both hands towards the left side of the mat. Draw your left shoulder back and gaze over the left shoulder towards your left heel. Breathing into your right side body. Slowly walk the hands back to center. And then walk both hands over to the right side of the mat and gaze over the right shoulder, pulling the right shoulder a little bit back. One more breath here. Breathe into the left side body. And then release again, coming back to center. And we find a puppy pose. Keep the hips in line with the knees. Just reach the arms out over the head. And then slowly release either the forehead or the chin down onto your mat. Opening up the chest towards your mat. Keep on reaching through the fingertips. Feel the stretch in the shoulders. Create length in the spine. Again, check that your hips are still in line with your knees. Release the chest a bit further down to the mat, breathing deeply here into your chest. One more breath. And release. Lift the head, lower the hips all the way forward and down and find Sphinx pose. Elbows underneath your shoulders. Lift the chest, press the ears away from the shoulders. Squeeze the buttocks, find a nice backward bend. Actively pull the mat a little bit towards you with your hands. 
feel the chest opening up. And then either stay here or you can press your palms into the mat, extend the arms out in front of you to lift the chest up higher, finding swan pose. Again, make sure you're releasing the shoulders down away from your ears. One more breath, stay lifted and then release. Create a pillow with your hands, take the feet a little bit wider, toes turned outwards and rest the forehead on your hands, crocodile pose. Release any tension from the lower back and just relax here into this pose. Taking one more breath here and then slowly release, bringing the feet back together and take the left arm shoulder width away from your body. Right hand next to the chest, inhale, exhale, roll onto your left side body, stacking the hips on top of each other. Bend your right knee and place your right foot behind the left leg if that feels okay. Wrapping the right arm around your back, keep the head relaxed and feel the stretch in your left chest and shoulder. And just breathe here into that stretch. Making sure the head stays relaxed. If the stretch is too deep, you can always take the left arm a little bit further down, closer towards your body. Two more breaths here and one more breath. Extend your right leg all the way out again and then roll back onto the belly, both hands next to the chest. Onto the other side, right arm comes shoulder width away, inhale. Exhale, roll onto your right side body, stack the hips on top of each other. Bend the left knee, place the left foot behind your right leg and maybe wrap the left arm around your back as well. Feel the stretch in your outer right shoulder, the chest. Keep the head relaxed and breathe into that stretch. With every exhale, just let go of any tension. The left knee points up towards the ceiling. But if this is not comfortable for you, you can always keep both legs long. Taking a few more deep breaths here. And then taking one more deep breath here and extend both legs out. Left hand onto the mat, rolling back onto the belly. Bring both hands next to the chest, elbows are pointing back. On your next inhale, press through the hands, lift the head, lift the chest, press back, cobra. Open the chest, draw the shoulder blades back. Feel the collarbones opening and let your hips be heavy. One more inhale. Exhale, use the wrists as brakes. Release all the way back down onto the mat. And then bend your knees and find child pose. Taking the knees as wide as the mat, let the hips sink back to the heels. Gently press your palms into the mat. Create length in your spine. Breathing deeply into the belly and just take a moment here for yourself. This 
Slowly release child pose. Lift the head, lift the hips. Tuck your toes under, press through the hands. Downward facing dog. Walk it out if you need to. Press through the hands, open the chest up towards the thighs. Create length in your spine. Tailbone pointing up high. Soften the ankles and let the heels sink down to the mat. Head relaxed and gaze between the legs. One more breath here. And then shift the weight into your right foot. Lift the left leg up behind you, three-legged dog. Bend your left knee, open the hips, so left knee points up to the ceiling, left foot falls to the right side. Gaze underneath your left armpit and press through the hands. Inhale, square the hips. Exhale, left knee to your left wrist, shin bone on the mat, find pigeon pose. Walk the right foot a little bit further back, make sure the hips are square to the mat. Inhale, exhale, sleeping pigeon, let your upper body fold forward, either create a pillow with your hands or rest the forehead on your mat. Feel the stretch in your outer left hip. And use the breath to ease into the stretch. Notice where your body is holding any luggage or tension. Breathe into it. And as you exhale, try to let it all go. Let the hips become heavy. Feel the left hip sinking even further down towards the floor. Relax the face, relax the shoulders. Inhale and exhale out. Either stay here or maybe walk the hands towards the right side of the mat. Bring your upper body into a diagonal and rest the forehead on the floor or on the mat. Feel a deeper stretch in the outer left hip and breathe into your left side body. Again, keeping the upper body completely relaxed here and make sure the hips are square towards the mat. One more breath here. And then walk the hands back towards the center. And walk the hands towards your upper body comes up. Back to downward dog. Tuck the back toes, lift the hips, maybe walk the foot a bit closer in and step your left leg back, finding your downward dog. Hips up high. Press through the hands, create length in the spine. One more breath here. And then shift the weight into your left. Foot, lift the right leg up behind you, press through the hands, bend your right knee and open up the hips to the side. Right foot falls to your left side, right knee points up to the ceiling. Press through the right hand, inhale and then exhale, square the hips again, pull the right knee forward, bring the knee towards your right wrist. And place the shin bone onto the mat, pigeon pose. Take your time to get into the pose. Inhale and exhale, sleeping pigeon. Let your upper body fold forward. Either create a pillow with your hands or rest the forehead on your mat. Breathe into that stretch in your outer right hip. When we are stressed, we always tend to hold a lot of tension in our hips. So use the breath to let it all go. Let the hips sink down. Relax the face and shoulders. Inhale. And exhale out. Allow yourself to become heavy.
and then either stay here or you can lift the head and walk the hands towards the left side of your mat upper body comes into a diagonal rest the forehead either on the hands or on the floor and feel a deeper opening through your right hip breathing into your right side body again make sure the hips are still square towards the mat Take another few deep breaths here. Take one more breath here and then slowly release, lift the head, walk the hands back to center, walk the hands towards your upper body lifts up, back to downward dog, tuck the back toes, lift the back knee, lift the hips up and step back into your downward facing dog, press through the hands, tailbone pointing up high. Hands are shoulder width apart, feet hip width apart. Keeping the weight equally balanced in both hands and both feet, feel the chest opening. Inhale, exhale, lift the head, lower the hips, plank pose. Inhale, and then exhale, release the knees down, find your child pose. Hips to heels, you can bring the arms by your side as well into embryo pose. And just release the whole body, breathing deeply into the belly. Taking two more breaths here, relaxing the head. And one more breath. Slowly release, lift the head, roll the spine up, come to seated on your heels, bringing the feet and knees together. Interlock the fingers behind your back, index fingers are pointed. Press the shoulder blades together and press the fingertips of your index finger down into the mat. Let the head drop back, open up the chest open up the collarbones and your heart one more inhale and then exhale release arms back by your side let's extend the legs out in front of us scoop a little bit further forward come to the front of your mat with your knees bent Reach the arms out in front, inhale, tuck your tailbone under and exhale one vertebra at a time, release all the way back down, hug the knees into the chest, relax the head, maybe rock a bit from side to side, massaging the spine. And then let go of the legs, placing both feet onto the mat with your knees bent. Let's take the right ankle on the left knee for figure 4 stretch. Right knee folds out, lift the left foot, thread the right arm between the legs and then interlock your fingers either on your shin bone or behind the left knee and pull the knee towards the chest. Head relaxed, press your lower back down into the mat, relax the shoulders down, feel the stretch in your outer right hip. And again, use the breath to ease into the stretch. Try to let go of any lockage or tension. And then release again, placing the left foot back down onto the mat. And then the right foot back down. Let's change sides. Left ankle on right knee. Let the left knee fall outwards. Lift the right foot, thread the left arm between the legs and interlock the fingers on your right shin bone or behind your right knee. Pull the knee to the chest, 
relaxed head press your shoulder blades down and the lower back down feel the spine flat on the mat and feel the stretch in your outer left hip with every exit just let go of any lockage or tension two more breaths here and one more breath slowly release right foot down and left foot down center yourself let's find happy baby pose one more time lift both feet let the knees and feet fall outwards arms between the legs get hold of your big toes with middle and index fingers and pull the knees towards the armpits let the feet fall out wide try to press your shoulder blades down and the lower back down and feel the hips opening up notice if the hips feel a little bit more supple and open than they were in the beginning of the class one more inhale and then exhale let's go and bring the legs into a tabletop position the knees in a 90 degree angle and knees and feet together arms shoulder width away from the body inhale exhale let both knees fall to the left side stack the hips on top of each other and gaze over your right shoulder you can bring your left hand onto the legs for a little bit of extra grounding relax your shoulder plates down and just close your eyes breathe into that spinal twist one more breath here and release gaze up to the ceiling both arms shoulder width away inhale lift the legs both hips on the mat and exhale let the knees fall over to the right side gaze over your left shoulder bringing the right hand onto the legs for some extra grounding and just let yourself be heavy visualize your body melting down into the floor enjoy stillness enjoy awareness use the breath to stay connected with your body inhale and exhale out taking one more breath here and release gaze up to the ceiling lift both knees inhale and exhale release the feet down extend the legs one by one last stretch from here bring your feet together interlock the fingers palms up reach the arms over the head and give yourself a morning stretch engage all the muscles make yourself very long stretch 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 and release again bring the arms back by your side and we come to our final pose shavasana make yourself as comfortable as possible let your feet fall outwards arms a little bit away from your body and palms face up towards the ceiling relaxing the shoulders down close your eyes return to your deep yoga breath breathing deeply in through the nose and exhale slowly up let yourself become heavy inhale and exhale let that feeling of peace and relaxation overcome you starting from the crown of your head all the way down to your toes 
letting go of any worries, chaos or to-do lists. And just dedicate this time to yourself and your well-being. This is your time. Inhale and exhale out. Stay here for some time. Enjoy stillness and awareness from within. Thank you so much for joining me for this practice today. Have a wonderful day and see you next time. Namaste.